there is something new called virtual OSCE. Okay, so virtual OSCE, let's see what that's about. So in March 2023, uh, the NDEB will administer the virtual OSCE. So basically, you guys probably know you don't, you know, you do AFK, you do ACJ, you do NDECC now called, right? Uh, or you do uni. After that, you have to do your certification exam or board exams, right? Board exams or cert exams. The cert exams right now are two examinations. They are uh, the written board exam, written board exam and OSCE. And I tell people just to make it easy is that written is similar to AFK, right? And OSCE is similar to ACJ, but with some new templates in it. So what is the virtual OSCE that's coming up in 2023? Okay, so they're going to start this March 2023. See right here. Let me zoom in here in case you guys can't see it. So March 2023, they're going to start this concept. So the virtual OSCE is making all of the, all this certification stuff one exam. So they're going to make it uh, all called now virtual OSCE. So let me scroll down here a bit. Okay, so it's going to be called virtual OSCE. And virtual OSCE is going to have 200 questions. Okay. 50 of them, right, are AFK style. And 150 are case based style, which means OSCE ACJ style. I like that. I like that now they have just one exam. So you could kind of think they're kind of uh, increasing the maybe the OSCE ACJ part and decreasing the AFK part or the multiple choice question part, right? So if you see here, let's look at the, um, lost my cursor. Okay. So if you see here, uh, you have the virtual OSCE. Okay. We don't need to that part. The virtual OSCE consists of 200 questions. There are 50 standard single answer multiple choice, which means like AFK style and 150 case based questions, which means ACJ or OSCE style, which include photos, radiographs, charts, that's ACJ and OSCE, right? Um, and supporting material. It'll be administered in cities across Canada where there is a faculty of dentistry. Now in fault, the virtual OSCE pro will be approved. So it's gonna be approved. Um, in this section, examinees can also find, sorry, I'm, okay, there you go. Can also find an electronic, an electronic, uh, electronic examination or things that can be used to become familiar with the NDB's electronic delivery platform. Meaning that maybe that means you're not going to need to look at models anymore, right? So you don't have to look at things physically to assess a restoration or anything like that. It's going to be virtual. It's going to be electronic. Okay. So closer to how an ACJ is delivered, right? So it means online courses now. Uh, like are, are more than enough. So we have an online course for OSCE. Um, so based on this, you know, the mocks will just be now instead of uh, 100 OSCE questions will be 200 and there'll be 150 OSCE style and 50 AFK style, right? So let's look at some of the Q&A. What is the fee 2000 for OSCE exam for a virtual OSCE? What if the pa I passed the written exam, but I didn't pass the OSCE? Do I still have to do virtual? Yes, you still have to do virtual OSCE. So if you passed one of the OSCE, like one of these certs exams and not the other, you still have to do virtual OSCE. Um, how many times can a person take virtual OSCE? Still three times. If, if, uh, what if I already taken the written exam and OSCE? Uh, do I still get three attempts at the virtual OSCE? No, a candidate who needs to repeat the written examination or OSCE will not have three attempts at virtual OSCE. So your attempts from previous, the previous uh, exams, uh, up to 2022 count as an attempt even towards your virtual OSCE. Yeah. So good to know that. Uh, so if you failed one of those, then it counts. I do like the concept of combining them. You know, why have those two days? You already done AFK, ACJ, NDECC, and this is just kind of repeating those concepts a bit. Right. Um, so yeah, doing it in one exam, I think is a good thing. So, but they did add, if you think about it, the situational judgment. So now you have situational judgment skills. So it's, and then you have the virtual OSCE. So it kind of adds up to being kind of like five exams again. Um, but still, you know, um, this is the way it is. And, you know, the first NDECC is coming up 
in September. Um, as we see here on their website, if you look at the, uh, go back to the NDEB website here, you could see their announcements saying coming up, oh, they're talking about the, uh, the deadline and what to expect. They have a video about what to expect on the NDEC, but basically their first NDECC is coming up in September. So I made the extra announcement about the OSCE. 